Greetings and salutations, folks. I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here one trailer at a time. Today, we're going to take a look at a 2025 Grand Design Transcend, model number 265 BHT. Some new updates for 2025 we're going to get to here. It's an awesome model, weighing around 7,000 pounds. This is for those killers and those $100 billers. I'm here with my friend, that Dutch bad boy, Brennan Hannemeyer, on the camera today. Brennan? What's going on? Happy campers, future campers, and fellow salespeople. Thank you so much for tuning in to the number one RV YouTube channel in the world. Please don't look that up. If you don't mind hitting that like and subscribe button, that'd be fantastic. Grand Design has done some fantastic updates on this. We're super excited about it. It's going to be an awesome year again. We're also on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. We're on Pinterest. Check us out there as well. Enjoy. Right on, Brandon. We have a sneaky thing at the backside we're going to get to when we get there. But we got aluminum rims, we got a laundry chute, a new fridge on the interior of this guy. Let's get after it. Front power jack, 20 pumper paint tanks, battery in a box location in behind here, wood frame, aluminum skin. But this aluminum skin is thicker than the stuff we're used to seeing on like a Springdale or something like that. Uh, it's also got flat finish on it, so it looks fantastic. We got our pass-through storage from one side to the other, motion sensitive light. We also have our city water connection, fresh water fill, battery disconnect, and our solar disconnect. The full transcends are gonna have the standard 165 watt solar panel on the roof. The Transcend Explorer, that's an option, okay? So just pay attention to that. We've also got our outside uh, receptacle in through here, our 30 amp charge controller, four manual stabilizer jacks, our black water flush kit, and then right here is our sewer drain down below there. The aluminum rims I was talking about, those should be 15 inch tires, Brendan. Let's just double check it. 15 inch tires in through there, great looking rims, rack and pinion style slide. Rack and pinion, baby. And then a window here beside the couch. Extra storage here at the back that goes about three quarters of the way through. Good width, good height. That's new. That is new. Love it. Um, and it's gonna make sense here when we get there, Brennan. Oh. On-demand water heater, 50 amp detachable style cord, full-size spare. We're gonna put that beautiful Lazy Acre tire cover on there for you. And then here at the back, da, 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 da. new for 2025, <laughs> we got that outside uh, kitchen. And you know, a lot of times it's on the door side. We can't do it on this floor plan. This one's got the back side. I don't mind it. It's perfect. It's perfect, brother. We got our outside griddle here, two cubic foot fridge. You can see the countertop is finished off with galvanil. We've also got our outside receptacle. And then here down the door side, we've got our gravity feed freshwater fill, outside spray port. Our electric awning starts here, goes all the way forward. There is LED lights on the awning now, a new grab handle, secure step to the ground on both sets of stairs, door side window off our kitchen, our manual override for our rack and pinion style slide. Give it to me again, Brennan. Rack and pinion, baby. And then we got our outside receptacle, furnace vent in through here. And then this door is key because it gets you into the bedroom and the bathroom, even with the slide out closed. Let's see the other kind of travel access we got here. Sliding in, we can get all the way into our kitchen and get to our fridge. And then from the other side, the other door, we can get to our bedroom and our bathroom. Let's get this guy opened up. Folks, we're inside that 265 BHT. And you know, Brent, I think Transcend might have my three favorite bunk models. Right? We have the 24 BHX, 26 BHX, and 265 BHT. Yeah, and that 331 is unreal too. That 331 is unreal too. So um, these guys nail it with their bunk models, there's no doubt about it. You're standing in the bathroom looking back here. I love how this feels like a rear living room travel trailer, and yet we have these two bunks tacked on at the end here. Let's talk about those, Brennan. They're double over double. I like the new bunk mats we have here on top. Window in each bunk, lights on both bunks, built-in stairs to get it nice and easy up into that top bunk. A couple of cubbies down here, and then wardrobe stores there. Magnets holding these doors in place now. And then drawers here down below. And then right here is our theater seat. They introduced this furniture uh, for 2024. Big, big fan of it. We got cup holders, electric recliners, and then uh, spots there for your, um, not your sewer hose, that'd be embarrassing. Uh, your remotes. Your remotes in there. And then over here, we've got our U-shaped dinette. You can turn that into a secondary bed if you uh, want to. We've got no carpet here in the slide with our flush floor slide, cupboards under both sides. 
and then take a look at this awesome new fridge. What did we say? 10? I, I, it's 10.7, 10 3. Let's see here. 10.2 cubic foot, 12 volt fridge. I love the French door action or Portuguese doors, depending on where you're from. And then right here, we've got our uh, chest for our uh, freezer. Slick stuff in through there. Bathrooms behind me, but then take a look at this ridiculous kitchen. All kinds of kitchen counter space in here, especially for a bunk model. Here down below, we got a skinny cupboard there. We got a pull out trash can. The way they finish this off is uh, really, really nice. There's no oven in here. It's a three burner stove top, a couple drawers, nice big drawers in through here for all kinds of storage, uh, range hood, and then our microwave is a convection microwave and uh, has a built in air fryer. Shelf across here for your cereal boxes, uh, plates and cups, bowls and cups in through there. And then moving right, we've got this extra cupboard there. Our TV is on arms, so we can kind of pull this out, have it face your theater seats nice and easy. Kitchen window facing your campsite, all kinds of counter space there. Drawers, cupboard, hiding our breakers and our fuses. More of the same there, and then one more drawer here. Receptacle there, fantastic stuff. Coming through the washroom now, we do have a porcelain style oh, toilet. Show off the door, bud. Oh, you wanna show off the door? Yeah. New door for 2025. Nice little pattern built into that. I find that they like, they just went a little bit like a touch farther with some like fancier finishes kind of thing or just like prettier things. Yeah, they did like a halfway step in 2024, right? With uh -huh. the new woods, the new furniture, but then yeah, they just lifted it one more level again for 2025. Porcelain toilet in through here, dump truck fits up into the shower. I'm six feet tall, let's see here if I fit. Oh yeah, I do. Nautilus style door. There's actually a squeegee built into this door that wipes off the water as you retract it. And then right here, cupboard there. Seamless counter, sink, shelf, shelf, towel bar, medicine cabinet here. And then do we have that same door? I don't think so, eh? No, no. Back to the regular door for the bedroom. That's okay, right, Brandon? It is. 60 by 80 inch queen here. I know you like this, eh? I love this. I think this is useful because, you know, if you're doing your homework with your kids while you're on vacation. It's a compass. Dude. Yeah, it's not a compass, bro. Yes, it is. It's a protractor. No, it's a compass. Compass. Yes, that's the point of the grand design symbol. That symbol. looks like a compass to you. That Leave is... me a comment down below. Oh my goodness. If that's Have a you ever watched a sailing movie? That's how that's they... A, that's, that's a how... protractor. You stick one piece in here no, and then... it's not. No, it's not. That's how you measure uh, like on a map. No, protractor's like... wrong too, but it's not yeah. a compass either. No, but it's something that you measure on a map. Like uh, Yeah, you yeah. stick the center in and you draw no, a circle. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not that thing. I know what you're It's doing. definitely not a compass. No, no but no it has something to do with sailing. And it for sure does. <laughs> it does. It has it's to not a compass. And stuff. I'm sick with no compass. Okay, but I'm closer than you are. <laughs> no, you're not closer. Than <laughs> yeah. you. You're that drawing thing. No. Anyways, <laughs> shelf here across the top. I think it might be wrestling Saturdays here. <laughs> yeah, maybe. All right, we got shelves here on the right side. I'm pretty sure you have hanging on your side, Brennan. Yep. Am I right that time? You are right. Is that a compass over there or what? It's definitely not a pro track. <laughs> <laughs> we got shelves in behind, receptacles and USBs down and through there. And then we have drawers on either side as well. And then new for uh, this year is this pretty cool little laundry chute. All right, so you just got that bag in through there. Shove your dirty uh, undies down and through there. That's the video, folks. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Leave us a comment down below. Have yourself a good day.